All right, so what's going on, y'all? So in this lecture, what we're going to talk about is transitions. If you notice in every good EDM song, uh, really what makes the makes it really keeps the momentum going is a good transition into the next uh, section of the song, okay? And so what I've done here is I've gone here, and, and any time we're a, a completely new section or where I want to bring in a new instrument or change things up a little bit within the song, I pretty much just put a little gap here. So I just go in between each section and take out either a, you know, a bar or a measure or a half a bar. Um, and it's kind of up to you, your preference of how you want to do that. But I just did that on every section here. So here's a little space right there, there, and there. And these are basically where we're going to put our transitions. Um, and again, I want to really emphasize that this is all based on your creativity. I'm just really trying to teach you a concept here to make sure that you add your transitions and show you how to, how to do it. Um, but there's two ways to do this when you add this transition. The first way is through your library, just adding some different sound effects and things to your library. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You, of course, will create a new track. Okay. And you're going to go to software instrument track, create that. And what I do is you, I go down to legacy here. And you can, if you don't have the logic sounds, you can go to GarageBand and then scroll down to sound effects. And as you can see here, you have different effects. Now, if you look right here, it says transition effects, and that's what you're gonna wanna click on. So I click on that, and you can go over here and pull up your musical typing feature if you don't have a MIDI keyboard selected, and do that by pushing Command K. And then you can just kind of like sample the sounds to see how they sound. And so my, my techno track is kind of sounding a little dark. And so you want to really kind of pick the sounds that match well with your type of, you know, techno track. If you have like really cool, happy sounding techno or EDM music, then um, you're going to want to, you know, get the right transitions based on that. So let me let me my bad on that. Let me so let me go ahead and add this transition. Let's try Let's try it out first and see how that works. And that's a cold K transition, but you want to just basically kind of find. <laughs> you want to find the right one. Okay, and see, this is kind of a, it, it really is kind of a dark, grungy type of beat. And so that's why that transition kind of worked well with that. You can come over here again to your editor and, you know, make sure it is hitting at the right place. You know, quantitize it. And there you go. And you pretty much just want to go throughout your rest of your beat and add the proper transitions based on your creativity. Now, another way to add transitions is through your Apple Loops. If you go over here to the top right hand uh, corner of the screen, click on Apple Loops or this loop button looks like a shoelace and your Apple Loops are going to pull up. You can search for the type of sound that you're looking for or everything is categorized right here. You have feels. Feels is another you know word for transitions, basically, or descriptive word for transitions. You can do that. Um, or everything is kind of categorized right here. You have different instruments. You have different genres, moods, and then you can create favorites and stuff. This is a real good feature here. But um, let's just say that you want to, all I'm doing is clicking between these two. You're working for a transition. So let's look for the uh, effects button here. Let's see if they have effects la labeled here sound effects okay and see what you can do is you can just hi, uh, click on this and it's going to play all right and so you can go through here and find the effect that you like for your transition And once you find what you like, you can drag it in here 
And I, you can layer the sounds as well. So you can come in here and drag it down like this and kind of put it exactly where you want it to be. So let's just listen to that and see how that transition sounds. All right, so as you can see, that kind of just didn't really necessarily work, but um, it's because it kept on going on and on and on. What you can do is just edit that. Just click, you know, Command T, chop that up, delete it, and you're, there you go. Now, this is a kind of crazy and weird transition. It's not necessarily your typical transition where your builds up, like in some typical EDM songs, but I just wanted you to kind of really just get the, the basis of this. Um, we could even type in, let's see, EDM. Let's see if that pulls up. Anything techno, say tech. All right. New. And you can keep on layering your transition to to your specifications, basically how you want it. And that's 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 the one thing I want you to get from this course is that everything is based on your creativity. Don't feel you have to do it one specific way. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this and let's check it out. That didn't work. So what I'll do is just leave it simple. And usually what I do, too, is I might add a bomb. So I might say, boom, find like some type of sonic. There we go. Let's check that out. You can say, all right, let's add an explosion. All right. And so basically what this transition is going to do, I just layered the transition here with different sounds. And then I need it to come in a little harder when it when it comes into the next section of the song. So I'm going to turn this, this uh, crash down. Let's check this out. All right, and so you get the get the basic idea of this. You have all of these different sounds that you can use. You can also use the library as we did right here to build your own transitions in here. And basically that's what you want to do is you want to find different ways to kind of keep the song interesting. And that's the whole purpose of transitions. So if you have questions or want me to go into more detail about this, um, please just hit me up and I'll be sure to get back with you. Thanks for watching.